So they saying that Pac was depressed. He wasn't, he was, he was down, which go low. And he told Frank, yo, I ain't even want to be here anyway. Uh, MGM by ourselves to go to the fight. Right. And we were sitting around waiting. Mm -hmm. He goes, Frank, I didn't want to come here no way. Yeah. He was, you know what? He was depressed, wasn't he? Yeah. Go back to the so he said he said he said to me he didn't want to be there no way. Well get this. I was told that while he was on gang related that like that last week he was uh, upset about going to Las Vegas. Frank, I'm even go better than that. When you went upstairs to change your clothes and we were downstairs, I said, What's up? Cause he was like that. Like right. a hot bitch. Right. Pac wasn't feeling too good at death row in these last days, y'all. Yeah. Go back to the train of thought. So he said he said he said to me he didn't want to be there no way. Well get this. I was told that while he was on gang related, that like that last week, he was uh, upset about going to Las Vegas. Frank, I'm even a little better than that. You went upstairs to change your clothes. And we were downstairs. I said, what's up? Can you even like this? Like a right. little bitch. Right. I said, yo, what's up? That's all kind of bullshit. And he said, he told me, he goes, Mike, whatever you do, come back downstairs and get dressed. I want you to be there. That's, that's, and I, and I, and I got, boy, Pocky, if anything, he wants to ditch me. Right. But he already tried. He can. Yeah. He ain't never, ever said to me since I've been working So Pac was feeling the vibe that something wasn't right. Because Michael Moore said he always tried to ditch him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas, they had a, they ain't really have a good relationship. But, you know, Michael, because Michael Moore was always trying to do his job and shit. So Pac would like sneak out on that nigga, jump in the car and jet off on that nigga. He said the night of Vegas, he, he, kept, he asked uh, Michael Moore, like, yo, you going to be with me tonight, right? Like, yo, you go in to get dressed, you coming down, right? You gonna be with me, right? And Michael Moore say, this nigga, this nigga used to always try to ditch me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pac was all down, feeling down. He had his head down near the casino, near the slot machine. He like, yo, man, what's wrong with you? What's up, man? And he like, yo, you coming, right? You gonna be there, right? He said he never asked him that before. He felt it, bro. Then when he said that, I got a little concerned. I said, yo, Pac, is everything all right? Because he'd sit down underneath one of them uh, little slot machines, and he had his head down. So I said, yo, nigga, what's up? What's up? And he said, man, all kinds of shit. You know, then he said, hey, you coming back, right? That's when you was, he goes, there goes Frank. Then he seen you first. Right. He goes, there's Frank right there. Because I saw him waving to That's right. And he said, you coming back, right? That's the last thing he said to me. I said, yeah, you know I'm coming back. Well, the last thing he said to you. <laughs> yeah, sure was. That's right. Sure was. Well, you know, I'm looking at that, and then I'm looking at all the shit prior. Right. And now, I'm going to tell you another person who's, who I'm a little concerned about. Right. Right. Who I did a little research on. You know that attorney? The one that was out there? Huh? Yeah. We were told he was an attorney, right? Right. He had a card saying he was an attorney. Right. right. I have his card. Somebody said he was. Oh. Somebody said, now, now Frank, we said, <laughs> let me, I'm going to be honest, and, he, and he, hear me out, and this is going to make you open your eyes. Now, right here, what you're hearing is, Michael Moore said, remember Reggie took told all of them to come have this meeting with this attorney, and the attorney is the one that told them that they can't carry their guns, right? Michael Moore said he researched the guy. He can't find him as an attorney. While they in the meeting with him, he's looking around. All the pictures on the wall, 
ain't the guy that's in the room, right? The name on the door outside the office ain't his name. So he's saying, yo, I don't think that guy was a lawyer. And who the fuck was he? Right? But all he kept saying is, yo, y'all ain't got no guns, right? 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 This whole shit was a setup. And Reggie ass was in on it, allegedly. I got to say allegedly. Until it's proven in court. And then I can say, I told y'all so. I'm going to tell you another person who I'm a little, who I did a little research on. You know that attorney? The one that was out there? Huh? Yeah. We were told he was an attorney, right? Well, he had a card saying he was an attorney. Well, I was card. Somebody said he wasn't. Well, Somebody said, now, no, Frank, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And he, and he, hear me out. And this is going to make you open your eyes. Frank. Was it necessary for all of us to go there and hear that? Or did just Reggie have to go? Well, Reggie should have been the only one that went. Why did we have to go? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Right. Reggie, oh, could have, Reggie could have uh, dealt with that and then had a meeting with all of us. Why did that, why was it so insistent that we were there? Remember how much he did a big deal? Right. I need all you guys over here. I need all you guys at this guy. So why did they do that? You have to give me an answer on that. Well, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? First of all, I'm the owner of the company. We're getting the licenses and working. Isn't that business end of it? Isn't that something that's between the, the manager of the company and the person getting the licenses? That's right. But you never hold a meeting. Why yeah, not with all the employees. Not with all the employees there. Yeah. And then insist that we get there. Remember how he went off? Richie went off when he not moved with his one making it? Right. See how mad he was getting that guy? And then. Look at the message. Really? Did he say anything in that whole meeting, or did he just talk about not carrying a weapon? That's how we talked about basically. What else did he say, Frank? Yeah. I, it was hard for me to even remember anything else he said. Yeah. I don't remember a whole lot he said either. He, he, Besides, he, 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 he made it a point to make sure about the weapon. He made it a point. Yeah. He made it a point. Now, didn't Reggie tell y'all that he didn't tell these dudes not to have their weapon? And Frank Posa had his weapon, and then in the book he talked about he left his weapon in the he left his weapon in the car, all that. They had meetings with a fake ass lawyer that they say, and they don't know who the fuck this dude was. That was some business for them to handle. That guy to handle with Reggie. They didn't need security to be there to have this meeting with this guy to tell him not to carry no guns. And why he kept stressing not having no guns, not having no guns, not having no guns. Because they knew the fucking hit on Tupac was already down. Right? And Reggie Ass knew it too. Allegedly. And then, look at the message. Really? Did he say anything in that whole meeting? Or did he just talk about not carrying a weapon? Well, that's how we talked about basically. What else did he say, Frank? Yeah. I, it was hard for me to even remember anything else he said. Yeah. I, I don't remember a whole lot he said either. He, 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 he made it a point to make sure about the weapon. He made it a point. Yeah. He made it a point that none of us had any weapons. Yeah. They didn't even ask me personally because they know I usually carry mine even like a hard yeah. They asked me individually. Because he asked me, he goes, Mike, you're not carrying a weapon, are you? This one, what you got to the club? No, 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 no. This was at the meeting. At the meeting. Because oh. he goes, because so, somebody had told that I was with Pac the whole time. Uh -huh. And he goes, you're not carrying a weapon up here, are you, Mike? And I go, yeah. He goes, Mike, you can't have you carrying a weapon. Oh, see? Uh -huh. Why was he so, why did he go to that meeting? Who was that guy? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I looked on the door, and you know how the doors that has listed the people that work in that building? Yeah, his name wasn't on there. His name ain't on yeah, there. Yeah, I looked too. His name ain't on there, and yeah. I always do that. Yeah, I, think, well, I looked too. Especially after he handed me a card. That's right. Yeah. I made it a point, Frank. Because he didn't even know where his cards were. No. And that was his office. That was his office. He didn't 
and he was lost. Yeah. He didn't even know where the pins were at. Yeah. Yeah. I told all that. You know, and I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, we got some problems. But I didn't say that. But then, when Reggie made a big deal about me and you doing the switch, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. And I, remember I told you, I said that.